Neural factor, neural factorization of shape and reflectance under an unknown illumination. Given a set of images and their camera poses, neural factor decomposes the scene's appearance into 3D fields of surface normals, light visibility, albedo, and spatially varying BRDFs. With this factorization, we can relight the scene with a single point light supporting shadows, or we light the scene with an arbitrary light probe. Given the same data, a set of images, we can train a neural radiance field, or NERF. The first part of NERF gives us the volume density for each point in the 3D space, sigma. With the viewing direction, the second part of NERF gives us the RGB color C. So NERF is able to synthesize novel views of the scene. However, it's unable to do relighting or material editing. Because reflectance and illumination are entangled in C. So we drop the second half of NERF and use the first half for shape initialization. From Sigma, we can compute the expected ray terminations at surface points. They look like this. We can also derive surface normals from Sigma by taking the derivative of Sigma with respect to x. These analytic normals are pretty noisy. The third thing we can derive is light visibility by tracing through the sigma volume to every single light location. The visibility maps are noisy too. With this initial normals and visibility, we use a surface normal MLP to cache and improve the NERF normals. This normal MLP is encouraged to do better than NERF because A, smoother normals lower the final re-rendering loss, and B, we impose smoothness regularization on the normals N. Similarly, we have a visibility MLP that tries to refine and improve the NERF visibility maps. We now get the shape aspect covered. What about reflectance? We learn data-driven BRDF priors by autoencoding on the MERL dataset. Because all MERL BRDFs are isotropic, we use the three degrees of freedom sequence coordinates. With the trained BRDF MLP, it's trivial to support spatially varying BRDFs. Simply have a BRDF identity MLP predict what latent code at each XYZ location. This is a direct RGB visualization of the latent codes. We still need diffuse colors to complete the BRDFs. So we add an MLP to predict for each surface XYZ, the albedo, looking like this. Next, illumination. We directly optimize each pixel of the light probe for better compatibility with visibility modeling. Finally, we use a non-learnable, physically-based renderer to render everything into an RGB image, which then gets compared against one of the input views. We also apply simple L1 smoothness regularization to all of the intermediate representations. Let's look at some results. We first relight the scene with a single point light and then some full light probes. As shown here, Nerf Factor achieves good geometry despite the complexity. It also predicts one material for the vase and another for the leaves. Note how the albedo is shading free. Another example, where we show the synthesized harsh shadows. Note how the normals are smooth and yet detailed.
and how the albedo is shadow and shading free. Because we explicitly model albedo and BRDFs, we can edit the material and then relight the edited scene. We now study the importance of each model component. Here we fix the shape to nerve's shape, but still estimate reflectance and illumination. Directly using nerve's shape leads to a lot of noise in the rendering due to the bumpy geometry. Here, we ablate the smoothness regularization, showing how noisy everything is without it. We pertrained the normal and visibility MLPs to prevent the albedo and BRDFs from attempting to explain away shading and shadows. Here we show how this geometry pre-training improves both shape and reflectance. We can also replace the learned BRDFs with microfacet BRDFs and have the MLP predict the roughness parameter. The rendering is lower quality with noisy specularities. Note that we had to remove the smoothness regularization for BRDFs here to avoid the local optimum of predicting maximum roughness everywhere, which is a safe bet for the L2 re-rendering loss. some comparisons with other methods. SURFS is a single view classic method that doesn't exploit multiple views, so its normals are less accurate. Now we compare with an enhanced version of Oxholm and Nishino 2014. A like nerve factor that estimates lighting, this approach requires ground truth lighting. There is no shadow in its results because it doesn't model visibility. As a consequence, there are shadow residuals in its albedo. Moreover, it doesn't support spatially varying BRDFs. Philip et al. 2019 achieved impressive outdoor relighting that supports shadows. But because it's an image-based rendering method, its shadows are less accurate than nerve factors. Furthermore, this method doesn't support relighting with an arbitrary light probe. Please check out the project page for the paper videos, code, and data. Thanks for watching.